Hello guys, how are we going? Welcome to the Corner Post. So this is the Corner Post leading up to Extreme Rules. Thank you very much all for tuning in. Um, so today you're just stuck with me. Everybody else has been a bit busy this week, so we weren't able to do our um, Thursday night show. So this is like a last ditch little thing to chuck up for later on. So yeah, <laughs> sorry, a bit out of breath, just uh, playing with the dog in the backyard to keep it nice and quiet. So yeah. Um, how's everybody's Saturday Arvo going? Hopefully all is going well. So uh, you can jump into the chat, guys. So chat is activated. Any questions you want to ask about the wrestling for this weekend or anything that you've seen so far, jump on the chat and let us know. Also jump onto Twitter and, uh, yeah, check out Knowledge Acquired on there. Check out Dave Time YT. Um, check out the Serial Games, guys. They've got stuff going as well this month. So on Facebook, on Twitter. Yeah, we're kind of everywhere. And uh, yeah, if you're tuned into YouTube watching this, so thank you very much for watching as well. So I thought I'd start off first, since we are alive, and uh, let's have a bit of a, a run back to NXT Chicago. So that happened uh, a few weeks ago. We did our prediction show the other Thursday, so which was very, very cool. Um, so we'll just sort of have a quick little little run back through what had happened. So you had Roderick Strong defeating Eric Young of Sanity. Um, very good match. Wasn't anything over the top. Um, but yeah, he took out uh, took out Killian Dane and can't remember all mate's name. Um, <sighs> yeah, forgot his name. Sawyer? Something like that. Anyway, so he took him out before the match and uh, pretty much left it one-on-one, -on -one, which is pretty cool for most of the match. Um, ended up getting the victory. Uh, probably the second match of the whole weekend, I reckon, that killed it. Um, Pete Dunne became the new UK championship winner, um, beating Tyler Bate. So that was a very, very good very good match. A bit back and forwards. Um, but yeah, it was, it was very, very good, guys. Very, very good. Um, next off, you had uh, the NXT Championship match, which was Bobby Roode. No, sorry, we had the NXT Women's match first. Sorry, forgot all about that. Uh, Oscar ended up beating Ruby Wright and Nikki Cross. We kind of expected that anyway. Um, NXT Champion Bobby Roode beat Hideo Itami. We tipped that as well. And the NXT Champions, the Authors of Pain, ended up winning again against Hashtag DIY in a ladder match for the tag team titles. Now, uh, to give you guys a little bit extra on that one, uh, Tommaso Ciampa, at the end of the match, turned on Johnny Gargano, which was probably one of the biggest um, uh, probably upsets of the whole weekend, in all honesty. Uh, kind of come from out of nowhere, which is a bit of a surprise, but uh, we did mention on the show, which was quite funny <laughs> that we mentioned it, um, but there was a, a singer that put up a tweet uh, before the pay-per-view to actually say that she was recording a new song for Johnny Gargano, which the tweet got taken down very, very quickly. Um, but yeah, funny enough, the turn happened. Um, yeah, Champa basically took his aggression out on Johnny Gar Gargano and uh, yeah, the psycho killer unleashed himself basically, which is pretty cool. Um, did have a a storyline breakdown on NXT this week they did. Um, basically him just coming out of the ring explaining why he did it. And it was very, very well done because it was it was released over that weekend that he was injured. He got injured a couple of days beforehand. Um, yeah, so it was a knee injury of some sort, which I got a funny feeling now it's an ACL. So he's going to be out for a little while. Um, but yeah, he basically, he basically got ahead of the pack because, as he said, everyone was looking at replacing him for that match, which I, you know, common sense to tell you to, if you're going to have a tag team match, you've got to replace the, the guy that may be injured, which he wasn't. Um, to full credit, he wasn't actually physically injured. So, yeah, he came out and cleared house and beat the crap out of Johnny Gargano. So quite interesting end to the pay-per-view that was. Um, the ladder match itself was unreal. So if you haven't checked it out, 
I pro- highly suggest you actually go and check it out. Um, totally worth it. It was really, really good match. Probably match of the weekend, I reckon. Um, yeah, my, my opinion alone, but yeah, that's what I reckon. So uh, up next, we'll talk a bit about Backlash. So, oh, what a pay-per-view. <laughs> what a pay-per-view. So uh, in the kickoff show, Ty Dillinger ended up beating Aiden English, which was a good match, good backwards and forwards match, nothing special. It was only on the kickoff. Um, a bit disappointing for Ty Dillinger, but them's the breaks, unfortunately. Um, and then to kick off the show was Nakamura versus Dolph Ziggler. Now, Nakamura got the win. Um, but the match itself wasn't that exciting, to be honest with you. It didn't, I don't know, it didn't captivate. It didn't grab anybody's attention. You know, they hyped up his entrance. They hyped up what he does, but the, it didn't live up to the hype, in all honesty. Um, it was still a good match. You know, both guys did very, very well, but it wasn't the match that he had with Sami Zayn when he first came into NXT. It wasn't matches he's had with... You know, Bobby Roode with Samoa Joe. Like, it wasn't for his first match on, you know, the new WWE brand that he's gone to. It wasn't that good. So, yeah, just an opinion. But, yeah, it didn't live up to the hype, in my opinion, anyway. So, um, yeah. Uh, up next, you had the Tag Team Champions. So, the Usos versus Brazongo. And uh, the Usos ended up winning this one and retaining their titles, which is, you know, not that far uninteresting. <laughs> we kind of predict that as well. Um, only for the fact that New Day were coming back, so it's obviously going to be New Day versus the Usos going forward um, with the storyline. So the Brazango team did quite well. Um, you had uh, Tyler Breeze doing two or three different impersonations of the undercover work that he was doing so he was a, he dressed up as an old woman um and then stripped off that to a police uh, to a, no sorry he started as a cleaner then stripped off to the old woman um yeah so but yeah it, it was a good laugh but it wasn't wasn't anything overly spectacular and it wasn't anything out of the ordinary either so uh, up next you had Sami Zayn beating Baron Corbin which was just a, a stock standard match typical big guy versus little guy and Sami Zayn getting the victory there. It didn't really capture anybody's attention. So there you go. Uh, we had the women's match. The three-on-three match. Um, Natalia, Camilla, and Tamina. They ended up beating uh, Naomi, Charlotte Flair, and Becky Lynch. Once again, it was a match that didn't, didn't really grab anybody's attention. It wasn't anything over the top. But, you know, it was decent enough. It, it got the job done is probably the the words I would use, so they could have, done, could have done a hell of a lot more, could have done an actual title match too on this card, but they didn't, so yeah, we'll leave it at that. Um, up next was United States Champion Kevin Owens versus AJ Styles. Um, probably the, the, the best match, oh, excuse me, probably the best match on the Backlash card, I reckon, um, except for the ending. Uh, Kevin Owens ended up winning by a count out. Getting AJ Styles caught out on the edge of the ring and yeah, yeah, it it wasn't anything. It was good. The match was really, really good. You could tell the two have got good chemistry from obviously their indie stuff, but yeah, it didn't, didn't really do much for me. Um, The ending didn't. So yeah, I didn't really want to see Styles as a US champion anyway, in my opinion. Um, He's a bit... Not so much below that. So is Kevin Owens. He's a bit below that. But, you know, I don't like seeing these guys fighting over a mid-card title when they could be fighting over the world title and making it a hell of a lot more interesting. So, yeah, bigger, better things for AJ Styles, except for this week on SmackDown where he lost to um, Dolph Ziggler very clean. So, (laughs) I mean, you can't have it all, can you? Really? Um, Then we had Eric Harper versus... uh, Sorry, Luke Harper versus Eric Rowan, which was just his... Typical stock standard um, brawling match. Harper ended up winning that one. And then the... Uh, <laughs> oh, jeez. I don't have words for this. But the end of the night, Jinder Mahal ended up winning the WWE Championship over Randy Orton. So uh, our predictions were way off the mark. 
But uh, yeah, it ended up happening. I didn't see it happening. I didn't see why it should happen. Um, I didn't see any need for it to happen, but it happened. So there you go. So Jinder Mahal is the new WWE champion um, on SmackDown Live. So yeah, wow. I mean, I give him credit. At, you know, it's he's worked hard for it. He's been a jobber for ninety nine point nine percent of his run uh, on WWE television. Anyway, even when he came back, he was jacked to the hilt, but he was still a jobber with Rusev. So yeah, it could be quite interesting there. Um, yeah, <laughs> I don't have words. I'm sorry, but yeah, it was good. But yeah, it it didn't need to happen, but it did. So. 